What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today we're talking all about tethers. The tether is one of the most important pieces on your saddle. Uh, for saddle hunters, your tether is what holds you to the tree and provides that ultimate safety. Once you climb the tree, you unhook your lineman belt, you're relying completely on this tether. And there's a few different styles that I wanted to talk about and some things that I want to point out, help you guys learn a little bit more about tethers. First of all, I much prefer a rope tether. Some guys use a webbing strap and it's okay. Webbing is plenty strong, uh, but I think rope is a little bit more user friendly for tethers. Uh, we're, we're more used to rope. Uh, we see it with rock climbers and arborists and it's just a little bit uh, maybe more user friendly to use a rope tether as opposed to a webbing tether. I think rope packs up a little bit smaller in your pack, takes up less space, so it's a little bit more mobile and I think it's easier to work with. We'll start off with this one right here. This is an HSS safety strap. You can find these in almost any sporting goods store that sells tree stands. It's a great option. It's about eight foot long. I used these for the first several years that I was uh, tree saddle hunting and it works great. It comes with a Prusik. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what a prussic is, uh, the main line goes around the tree and your prussic line, uh, which is this black cord right here, slides up and down. It's called a friction knot. And once you get it to the desired height, then by applying weight, it sets. And once it sets, it's much more difficult to move. Uh, so you would clip your carabiner in here and you would clip your carabiner into your bridge. Okay, so... This prussic cord is what would hold you to your tether, which is the main line right here. On my tether, I use a mechanical prussic. This works exactly the same way, except when you uh, loosen the mechanical bite here, you can slide it up and down freely that way, and as soon as you release, it's spring-loaded, and then it catches. It's a little bit more user-friendly. However, it does introduce metal into the picture, uh, and it is a mechanical uh, object so it could fail. It's much more difficult for a rope prussic to fail uh, and however unlikely that it is that this might actually fail it, it is a possibility so it's something to consider. The Ropeman 1 I will link to that below. This thing is absolute pure gold for saddle hunters. I love it. I use it all the time and it's one of my favorite pieces of kit. Finally this is kind of a new tether to the scene. This is called Samson Ultra Tech. It's a very thin rope. This is nine millimeter rope, and it's still extremely strong. All of these ropes are extremely strong. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit more packable even than this. To attach your tether to the tree, all you do is run the fixed loop. This is just an overhand knot. Uh, you can tie any sort of knot you want, but you just need to create a loop. Uh, so a fixed loop goes around the tree and you pass the free end or the tag end or back around through the tree, through the loop, and that girth hitches you to the tree so you cannot move. It's a very simple process. There's no knot tying involved other than tying your fixed loop right here. Once around the tree, you simply move your prussic knot or your mechanical prussic via your ropeman to the desired height. You clip in your carabiner to your bridge and you're set to go. At the bottom of your tether, you wanna tie some sort of stopper knot. This is a simple overhand knot. If you buy one from HSS, they're gonna double it back and bind it on itself. This is just to keep the prussic from sliding all the way down and off your rope. It's just a safety feature. Same thing with the ropeman. If you were to slide this ropeman all the way down, eventually you would hit this overhand knot in the end of the rope and it's gonna keep your, uh, your prussic or your mechanical prussic from coming all the way off the bottom. When you attach your tether, most guys find it pretty comfortable for a forehead to chin height hookup. You might want to uh, play with that height depending on the tree. Sometimes a bigger, wider tree, like this is probably about a 12 inch diameter tree. If you had a bigger tree, say 20, 20 inches plus, you might have to move it up a little bit to give you more room to maneuver. Likewise, on smaller trees, you could probably move your tether height down a little bit for comfort. But generally, you want to start about forehead to chin height. Once your tether's on the tree, you simply hook up your bridge and tighten it up. Then the tree is weighted. All my weight is in the tree, and I'm on my tether. 
depending on your platform, if you have a ring of steps where you might walk around the tree, or if you have a seat style platform where you're basically gonna stay in the same spot, uh, that also can have an effect on your tether length. A ring of steps requiring you to walk around the tree, you may want a little bit longer tether to give you more room to maneuver around the tree. Conversely, if you're standing on a seat style platform, you might not need as long as, of a tether because all of your movements are right here on this side of the tree. So it's something to consider when placing your tether on the tree. So there you go. Now you know everything there is to know about tethers. Get out there and get in your saddle and do some hunting.